Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good evening. Assalamu alaikum. It uh, gives me a great pleasure to be here today among my friends, brothers and sisters. This is first time I've come to Denmark uh, and, they, and I'm very happy to be here among you. Kashmir from Denmark has been working through KIA Rafi Azad Kashmir since the earthquake of 2005. Originally they started funding us for various water projects in Azad Kashmir in the uh, earthquake affected areas. But since last year when we started the uh, surgical camps in Azad Kashmir, they saw the work and they wanted to take part in that. And Alhamdulillah this year the Kashmir Fund Denmark and DMH both organizations funded the whole camp uh, which took place in May this year and we'll be showing you uh, some of the work we did and uh, it was a great pleasure for us to have a doctor coming from Denmark uh, and spending two weeks Dr. Javed Iqbal spent two weeks with the other doctors from England uh, during that camp and uh, we managed to do 132 operations uh, within the two weeks uh, time frame and 770, uh, sorry, 746 patients were checked off. So that shows you that the two week camp can only do a certain number, maybe 150, no more than that. But we, each year we get 708, 100,000 patients registering with us. So what we have done since uh, this year's camp is we hired local doctors and they are carrying out the uh, camp. Um, every fortnight they are doing the operations in Rawalpindi and KIRF uh, Community Hospital, Jatana. And uh, our aim is to do 500 operations between the, this year's camp and the next year's camp. So to lessen the burden on the pain which goes from here. And we will keep the most important, most difficult cases for the UK and Denmark team. I hope that we will be joining us again next year, inshallah, uh, for them to do. Uh, so is a, a birth, by birth it, it happens to the children before the birth. So they are born with the cleft lip and cleft palate. And most, most people tell us that uh, it is due to the um, close cousin marriages, 90% chances are that you will get this sort of uh, uh, disfigurement uh, on a child and uh, inshallah from this year onwards we are uh, developing a campaign to teach people to avoid this sort of births uh, because it's, it's easy to cure but I think it's better to teach people to avoid illness rather than curing them. Um, we have had cases from like uh, Adnan, I didn't understand what he was saying, but uh, when he mentioned Poeta and Karachi, that bit I did understand. Uh, that we had patients coming from Poeta uh, this year, last year we had a patient coming from Bhavanpur, Gilgit, uh, we had a patient from uh, uh, Afghanistan. So you can imagine how difficult it would be for the people if this. Uh, free camps were not held in Pakistan and Azad Kashmir that these children will go without uh, any operation and they will grow up uh, fearing for the um, bullying they will not go to school, they will not uh, go out to play with other kids because they will feel uh, ashamed of themselves because of this disfigurement on their face and after this operation they, they have you are putting a smile on their face. That's why we're calling it a thousand smiles for Kashmir. Although it's called thousand smiles for Kashmir, but 
but the patients can come from anywhere in the world. And as long as they can reach our hospital, we will cure them. It doesn't matter where they come from. So, children are born with this uh, cleft lip and cleft lip palate disfigurement. Every year, 3,000 children. And uh, in the Azara division of Pakistan, uh, there are thousands and thousands of patients uh, waiting uh, for operations. Uh, only last week we had a, we registered a patient of a 57 year old man. He's never had the chance to get the opera operation done because he couldn't afford it. Uh, the cost in private hospital is so huge that pe most people over there cannot afford. So they wait for uh, some teams to go from uh, outside the country to uh, cure them. And uh, I think, I feel that I am very lucky that Allah SWT has given me the chance to help those people and He has chosen me to do this work. And uh, it's my honor uh, to help those people because I believe we come to this world empty hand and we will go empty hand. So uh, the only thing we will take with us to the uh, next life is our good deeds which will help us in the next life. We will meet from the UK. And KIRF uh, is not just about uh, uh, the hospital. We have 150 other projects like vocational training centers for poor women, like uh, primary schools, uh, water schemes, and a lot of other uh, uh, projects uh, uh, all across Azad Kashmir. So, whichever project you like to fund through uh, Kashmir Fund Denmark, it will be most uh, uh, appreciated. Uh, I think I've taken too much of your time. Uh, unfortunately, the <laughs> presentation is not there, but we'll find it, inshallah. Uh, thank you very much for uh, listening and having me here uh, tonight. Uh, it's my pleasure. Thank you.